Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Mu Eiselstein and I am the Executive Director at St. Paul American School Hanoi. I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you about a very important person in our school's history and that's Dr. Steve Jordahl. Dr. Steve Jordahl grew up in Minnesota in the United States and he was a lifetime educator. He was a teacher, a school principal, and a superintendent. Dr. Jordahl, or Dr. J as he was affectionately known, eventually brought his talent overseas. First he became the head of school at St. Paul American School in Beijing, China before coming to St. Paul American School here in Hanoi, Vietnam. Dr. J spent four years mentoring our students, teachers, and staff. He was loved by everyone that knew him. And unfortunately, Dr. Steve Jordahl passed away last year from Lou Gehrig's disease. Dr. J was just such, uh, just such a breath of life. He always just had this positive aura around him, and I just didn't know what to expect. I, I mean, he called me out of the blue, and I didn't know why this man was calling me. And it was to offer me a job when I wasn't looking for a job. And when I told him that, he insisted. He said, "You know what? Let's just talk. Let's just talk." And when he spoke to me. He was always so much in love with St. Paul and the community. Um, and every day he was telling me how much I need to come here. It was a need. He felt positive that I would feel that love here, that I would feel that sense of the, the community. And I think it was here because of him. He fostered that every day. He always had the smile on his face. He was always encouraging. And at the end of the day, after two weeks of calling me almost every day, probably at 6 a.m. for him because of the time change, um, he really talked me into it. It was, I bought into it. It's the, the amount of love and respect. I wanted to be a part of that. And I've been here for five years now, and it was probably the best decision I ever made. And that's all thanks to Dr. J. It was, it's been an amazing thing, and I just, I thank him so much every single day. Um, so the first time I saw Dr. J was actually my first day at St. Paul. I moved in in eighth grade. I saw him the first time at orientation and he just exuded energy and positivity and everything. The way he talked on stage, um, how he was carried off the stage by a bunch of seniors who were graduating that year. That was my first impression of him. and. We talked a couple times around the hallways, um, and we shared an interest in basketball, and that was how I really got to know him. I was on varsity basketball in ninth grade, and one day uh, I just saw the principal of the school walk into the gym, and uh, he led practice with us, with the coaches. He gave us, he gave us advice, and um, at that at that point, uh, I didn't really think of him as a principal. I thought of him as a mentor. As, uh, as 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 a friend even um, who, who we shared a mutual interest and um, I think basketball was how we really bonded and um, that will probably be how I remember him the most so Steve Trudal is actually the administrator who hired me to work at St. Paul um, and he's the reason that I'm here today as a new administrator for the school. Uh, it's something I really can't put into words how grateful I am for, uh, for him giving me that chance. Um, my favorite memory of him, it's kind of a, a toss up. Um, one would either be uh, at the start of uh, my first school year working under him uh, in the middle school. Um, he had orchestrated with some of the students uh, to play I Believe I Can Fly. And at that point, the kids picked him up and they carried him through the aisles, and I remember all the parents clapping. Um, and it's just, it's a really precious memory I have because it showed me the kind of administrator that I hoped one day I would be. Um, someone who the kids really connected to and respected and loved. Um, and I'm really thankful for that. He gave me a great role model to live up to. Uh, the other memory uh, would be that even when he was home visiting his family, because he really loved his family, he took the time to make sure that he was a part of the 8th grade graduation by sending us a video in the middle of a fishing trip, but saying how proud he was of our 8th graders. Um, 
We're never going to be able to replace someone like Steve, um, but I'm so proud that we are doing this in his honor. And I know that he's smiling down, he'd be very, very happy. Dr. J was such a passionate and loving person. I've only known him for just about a year, but that was more than enough time to know that he was such an amazing person. He would always smile whenever I'd go and talk to him. He would be so encouraging to whatever we were doing. And I think he was just the best representation of the St. Paul Eagle. He was so compassionate, so encouraged people to empower themselves. And yeah, I really miss him. As you've heard from many of our students and teachers and staff here at St. Paul, Dr. Steve Jordahl had an amazing impact on our community. And therefore, it's my honor and privilege on behalf of the CEO, Mr. John Ha, our Board of Management, and the entire St. Paul community to be able to dedicate this building, Building J, uh, to Dr. Steve Jordahl's memory. So from today, we will now call this building Dr. J Hall in memory of Dr. Steve Jordahl.